Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So we've got another beer tasting blind for Adam. I know what this is. Um, we do these occasionally just for fun. Uh, so we'll see what he thinks. He's going to describe it. He's going to try to guess the style. Um, we'll see how close he gets. Uh, I'm not trying to pull a, a curveball or fastball. This is just a standard beer that we can buy. Uh, hopefully he'll like it and Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. All right, let's get into let's it. Let's do it. So, pours pretty, pretty dark and like it a is. caramel color. Can't see through it very well at all. No, you uh, can't. Pretty no. opaque. Yeah, uh, see that. It's probably there. opaque mostly from the caramel. I would think. I mean, it's yeah. it's kind of. I don't know that this is well. I, I shouldn't say. Yeah, so it's got like a ivory head that's dissipated. It's got some alcohol it's holding the glass. Pretty decent there. I mean. Not too bad, yeah. you know, kind of range, but um, pretty cool. So that feels pretty good. So let's get yeah. the aroma. Okay. Hmm. So I definitely get a nice um, kind of hot bitterness that uh, kind of like a, a piney, uh, piney aroma that uh, smells like it's going to be kind of bitter. I definitely get the malt presence there as well. Okay. So a bready, bready aroma, like caramel. Mm -hmm. Kind of get those. I would guess like a, um, I would guess like a, either a, an IPA or a um, like a red IPA, maybe something that's got a little okay. more malt than your standard, uh, standard just American IPA, something a little more malty. Okay. Sounds pretty close. All cheers. Right. Cheers. Let's do it. Big malt um, and then big bitterness. Man, huge. It keeps growing on me like a huge dank, um, like a huge dank resinous hot bitterness that just, it kind of, I had, I, it, the first thing I got, the first initial thing was sweet maltiness and then it was just bam, like this, this dank, piney, uh, hot bitterness grabbed my tongue. Okay. And kind of lasted throughout. Second sip's the same. First thing I do, I get this little, just kind of this sweet breadiness, sweet caramel. And then it goes into this huge, I mean, I'm talking, this is my first beer of today. Um, and it's, this is pretty aggressive uh, with the bitterness, I would guess. Um, yeah. Um, so, I, I mean, I really like it. It's it's well done. If this is like a red IPA, um, an amber IPA for that style, um, it, it would be very good. If it was um, just a standard IPA, which I'm not guessing because of the color, then I would say that uh, it's balanced a little towards the, the malty side and maybe a little older, uh, something that was a big West Coast style. It's just a little bit older, but it's still got such a huge hot presence that I, I don't think it's something that is off flavor from a, a, an old style. I favor this to be something that's meant to be an amber IPA or a red IPA. All right, I will say it is fresh enough that this is what it should taste like. Okay. So I'll at least give you that hint because I, <laughs> I don't want to keep you guessing. Um, okay, but that's- I don't get much like tropical juiciness. Um, I agree, I get nothing but resinous. Yeah. Um, and big bitterness. Um, but it's, it's delicious. Um, uh, for the style, uh, I would rank this this high. If, if this is what it's billed as, I mean, you're getting you're getting the exact beer you want. You're getting a good amber, a red IPA, something that's a little bit malty. But I mean, mostly it's just. I guess it doesn't have to be a red IPA. It could be just a big, dank West Coast IPA, um, and I just get a little bit of sweetness there as well. I guess maybe if it was, um, and it does have some alcohol to it, so maybe that's kind of where the malt is. It's balancing out that huge hot bitterness from a big west coast style something that's maybe you know eight or nine you know like a double maybe like a seven and a half to nine to nine percent abv um big <laughs> such big uh west coast dank um bitterness there so does it what would you say the alcohol content is i mean you mentioned it a little bit higher uh you mentioned seven to eight i mean is that your guess or would you get guess higher or lower um it does taste kind of boozy. I mean, I would be on the upper end, 
um, nine and the nine range. I mean, nine okay. to 10. Um, I don't taste any honey or something like that to be uh, that they, like an adjunct like that. And, it, and maybe the moth I'm getting when I was calling a red IPA, it's just there to balance a big day, you know, West Coast double IPA. And it's not, a red, you know, an amber okay. style. Um, so yeah, I would guess, and with the alcohol legs, I would guess, yeah, nine, nine and a half percent. That would okay. be my guess. Um, big IBU, I would guess 100 plus IBUs. Let's just go 100. Okay. Um, so, what's your rating? And as far as the style, I mean, rate it to what you think it is because you're right. Yeah. So, I prefer, I mean, you guys know you watch our videos. I prefer big, juicy, tropical East Coast IPAs. This is really good for the style. Um, um, I'd give it a. Four two five. Okay. Before I show you this, um, I'm just going to show you all how far he's come in craft beer. Because the first time you tried this, you described this as vomit. You said that just tastes like vomit. Oh really? Yeah. It's a Gosa. Oh, is this the, the? Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Uh, we had this locally, they had a keg of it, believe it or not, and... I couldn't drink it. Um, we, we couldn't finish one. I couldn't drink a four couldn't finish four. one. It's, that but like it is ago. big bitterness. I mean, they claim it's a thousand IBUs. That's not possible. Um, as far as your alpha acids, your iso alpha acids, uh, yeah. really the saturation point is somewhere in the 110 to 120 range. I can't remember exactly, but it's 110 to 120. That's really as high as you can get. You can't really get higher than that. Uh, but it is a big malt presence, but you have to have that yeah. to balance that much bitterness. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought this getting this fresh would <laughs> That's be cool. something good to try. I actually <laughs> overrated this, and he, I would say underrated it, but this was before you even were on Untapped, so yeah. you don't even have a rating. But my guess is you would have rated it pretty low, considering you said it tasted like vomit. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I think the bitterness, I, I don't think it, I mean, it, overdone, yes, maybe, but it balances the malt, it balances the 9.6 alcohol content pretty well. Um, you still at least taste the malt, which is good, but it is, it's just a very dank, bitter, bitter, bitter beer, which I, I think is, I, I still like it. That's a thousand IBUs. Good. That's right. <laughs> uh, for those of you who, you know, just really are huge hop heads and like resinous beers, I, I think it's worth trying. Oh, absolutely. It, it definitely delivers. Yeah. It's a hop delivery vehicle. It is. <laughs> absolutely is. I saw that on a menu at, um, um, Oh crap, what's the one in Asheville? What Wicked, Wicked Weed. Weed. Wicked Weed, I think. Yeah, I saw, uh, not pernicious, but the uh, the double they have down there. And it said, described as a hop delivery vehicle. And I like that phrase. Yeah. And this is a double hopped delivery <laughs> vehicle. <laughs> or maybe 10 times the So hop. it is 9.6. So I was close. Yeah, no, you are very close. Uh, uh, you nailed pretty much everything. It's called a thousand IPA, yeah. but still it's it's, little, it's really more of a red ale, red IPA. But it's just some, you know, the malt to uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, have absolutely. to have that much yeah. malt to balance that out, but I still think it's very good. Yeah, it's delicious. Thank you for bringing this over. What'd you rate it? Uh, the first time I rated it a four or five, but I'm gonna stick with a four two five. Okay. I, I think I overrated it um, just because I was so impressed with how bitter it was. Do you know what it gets on the tap? Did you have to I think it's below a four, it's like a three nine. Okay. But you have to imagine, people that are drinking this beer, some of them are gonna be hop heads that just will have hops in anything. Mm -hmm. And some people probably are put off by it, like you were like the first ours. time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, your standard just oh, yeah. in the mill beer drinker. Maybe too much. It's gonna be way too much bitterness for yeah. them. Uh, it's gonna turn them off. And that's okay, it doesn't bother me that it's a three nine. But there's a warning right there on the label, a thousand IBUs. Yeah. <laughs> Buyer beware. Exactly. But yeah, if you do good. like bitter beers, this one's for you. It's it's very good. Well, that's fun. Well, thank you. Yep, no problem. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.